Welcome again to Wingman Wisdom, everybody. And if you're saying, boy, he doesn't look like he's in a very good mood today, I, I'm really not. Um, I have thought about this long and hard about how to do this video without offending very many people. And But I've got to get this off my chest. Please, please listen to this video with an open mind. I am not angry. I am frustrated, quite frustrated. And I will explain to you why. And I'm hopeful that you go, you know what? I get it. I love what I do. I got to start out by saying I love what I do. I love trying to help people. It's in my nature. Back when I did a TV fishing show and I found out about these organizations, these nonprofit organizations where they take children out fishing and introduce them to nature and the out of doors. It's not about catching a big fish. It was about trying to introduce them to nature and something that I thought was wholesome and, and fun. I would do a story from time to time on that. And guess what happened? People liked those stories. And then other groups would start saying, hey, can you come and do a story on us? Well, to do TV, to do these videos, it takes something, that four-letter word, it's not cash. Well, sometimes it takes cash on TV. But it takes time. I put my heart into Wingman Wisdom. I put my heart into my TV fishing show. And I want to help as many people as possible. But once I started helping people, guess what? They came out of the woodwork. I want, can you do a story on me? How about me? Hey, we're better than they are. And it, it just, it was, as they say, no good deed goes unpunished. The purpose of Wingman Wisdom is to try to help you to think, to try to help you, help you, but you have to help you make the best decisions possible when buying or selling an RV. I say that I like most of the people that do it most of the time. Today's video is for some of the people that seem to be here all of the time. My inbox is overflowing. I have got an assistant now that helps me try to keep up with emails. But if you want me to help you, please help me to help you. You can't, it's like going to the grocery store and walking out, to, being outside the grocery store and somebody comes out and says, what kind of groceries should I buy? I don't know, what are you hungry for? Go to a tool store, go to Home Depot or Lowe's or something. Say, what's the best tools? I don't know. What are you going to do? You're going to hang sheetrock? You're going to cut a board? You're going to fix some plumbing stuff? What are you going to do? I get emails all the time that say, what's the best RV? I don't know. I don't know. What's best for me is not necessarily what is best for you. I want to help. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to create a form auto-reply email. So on Sundays, as you know, if you're on my email list, I send out every Sunday night, 6 p.m. Central Time, a little note. It takes like one minute to read the thing, just to stay in touch with you, not to sell you anything. I have no affiliate links, blah, blah, blah. I just want to stay in touch with you. I want to tell you what I'm seeing, what I'm thinking, and I want to hear from you. On that email, I'm going to set it up. Don't know how to do it yet, but I'm going to find somebody that will, that when someone sends me an email, that it will give an auto reply, an auto response, which is, I know it's not what I like to do. It's not. I want to give personal advice, but it's hard. I'm supposed to be retired. My wife is not happy with me because I, I, I love to work. I love to help people. But for heaven's sake, you got to learn to help yourself. Do your homework. Please do your homework. When you get the auto response from me, don't be offended. Essentially, here's what I want it to say. Do your homework. And when you can tell me what you're looking for, where you live, how far you're willing to travel, what your budget is, what your time frame is, in terms of when you're thinking about buying an RV, what are your must-haves and the things that you, that you don't really care to have, as much information as you can provide me, I can go, you know what? I can connect them with these people over here. It sounds like a good fit. But if you just say, I'm looking for an, uh, an RV, we're going to buy this year, we're just retired, and can you help me? I can't help you. I can't help you until you can help me to help you. Provide more information. I finish every one of my videos the same way. Most of you, maybe <laughs> the, the, the people that need to watch this probably haven't even gotten this far. I end my videos by saying, be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home. Don't leave your brains at home either. Be safe. Do the right thing. Educate yourself. Do your homework. Be safe. Have fun. Life is short. I know I'm wrapped up today and I'm not happy. Life is short. 
Don't sit on the sidelines and gripe all the time. And you people that are out there going, every dealer is a con man. They're all trying to rip us off. That is not true. Some people are, yes. Too many are, yes. But all of them know. If you go into a relationship, any kind of a buying relationship with that kind of an attitude, do you think somebody wants to work with you? Most of my dealers, the dealers that I work with, don't want to work with you when you walk in and have an attitude, an adversarial attitude right out of the gate. Be helpful. Be kind. So be safe. Have fun. Play nice. Not just play nice, live nice, but live direct. I'm being very direct right now. I believe that being direct with people, being straight up honest with them is the only way to communicate effectively, to show your love for them. It is. I don't want to be ugly. I don't want to be without thought. I understand there's a lot of questions. I do. But you have to help yourself. This community, Wingman Wisdom, is filled with smart people, educated people, wise people. Do you know why? Because we're old and we have screwed up a lot. Hopefully, we've made a few good decisions, too. If you want good help, read the comments. Learn who the regulars are here on Wingman Wisdom. There's some really good people. I cannot help everybody. God, I wish I could. For you people who have sent me your suggestions for good dealers for me to investigate, for me to communicate with, that I might want to refer people to, thank you. Please understand, I can't do it all. I'm not even going to try to do it all. One of the videos I did not long ago was about learning to say no, and I have to follow my own advice. I have to just go, hey, you're on your own. Good luck, pal. Good, good luck, lady. And that sounds so curt, so ugly, but it has to be said. I believe in being direct. I believe in being honest. It's not always pleasant to hear. If you will be specific in what you're looking for, I may or may not be able to help you. I can't give you the perfect dealer, the perfect RV. It doesn't exist. All of my dealers are flawed, every one of them. You know why? Same reason you're flawed. You're a human being. You know what happens? It does. I'm hopeful that if you want a good, solid dealer relationship, you want a fair price, you want somebody that you can trust, somebody that will treat you right, all they ask from you is that you treat them right. Good Lord, is it that difficult? Every day, literally every day, there is a tone of emails. Some of these emails that come in my inbox that just, I go, come on. I wouldn't sell this person an RV if they paid me cash and walked in the door. They're so nasty and so, I don't know, aggressive. I don't know if it's, if it's the climate. I don't know if it's the news environment. I don't know if it's their background. I too can be nasty. Oh, believe me. And from time to time, I like to roll around in the dirt with people. I do. But I try to choose, if I can, to be calm, to be measured, to be thoughtful of the other person. At the same time, to be direct with them, not lie. Tell them the truth. So you can help me if you would. Be safe. Have fun. Play nice. Don't leave your good manners at home. No matter what you're doing, whether you're camping or shopping or at work, we need to start treating people better. If you treat dealers better, I promise you, they will treat you better. Are they all great? No. Are some of them great? Yes. Will the wingman try to help you? Yes. But if you get an auto response from me, all you have to do is please be patient, read it, provide me with as specific and detailed information as you possibly can. Where are you in the buying process? How soon do you want to buy? Are you just thinking about it? Because the dealers that I work with, they want to help, but they, they, they've got a business to run. If you want a VIP treatment, I promise you, you will get a VIP experience with the people that I work with, but they can't hold your hand forever. So please send me as many de details as you can. What are you interested in? What are your must-haves? What do you not care much about? Are you willing to travel? Do you have an RV that you have to sell first before you make your buying decision? Where are you in the buying process? And I give you my word, you will be top priority on my to-do list. And again, for you people who have suggested dealers that I might want to recommend, thank you. Uh, as I get uncovered up and my wife isn't so mad at me for working all, all the time, because I really do, I work all the time. 
I'm reading these comments. I'm thinking, I spend my time. And I know it may mean nothing to you, but I, I respect your time, your time in watching my videos. I'll give you an example. This morning, I get a video, that I, uh, uh, an email, and I, it's, I spent 15 minutes trying to articulate myself in the right way, not some form thing, but really trying to communicate in a respectful manner. And I said, the more specific you can be, the better chances are that I can help you and blah, blah, blah. And the reply was, it took one sentence. What are the best brands? I'm not going to respond to that email. I spent 15 minutes. They spent 15 seconds. If you want me to help you, please help me to help you. Thank you for listening to me today. Thank you for allowing me to vent. I appreciate each and every one of you and hopeful that you will remember, be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it on social media with your grumpy old RVing family and friends who may need a little bit of wingman wisdom. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.